Miss Melissa from Penyon Public Library and my special assistant, Kat. Hi. Hi. Happy New Year. So we're going to start our story time the way we always do. How's that, Kat? You remember? Hello, friends. That's right. We say, hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. So today, I let Kat pick our storybooks, and she wanted to go back to some of the things we did over the summer, and one of our favorite things to do was, what's Miss Melissa's favorite kind of book? Elephant and Piggy! Elephant and Piggy! And we even made ourselves masks to, to wear. So, without further ado, we will start with, we are in a book! Let me put on my mask. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since we've worn these masks. All right, ready? Thank you. <gasps> Piggy? Yes, Gerald? I think someone's watching us. Someone is looking at us. <gasps> Fun, 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 
we're going to the sun. You ready to count down from five? Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Oh, do you think we can do it from ten? Maybe. Ready? Let's try it. Oh my goodness, our kitten has decided she wants to join story time. Everyone, this is Izzy. Izzy, do you want to be on camera? No. No? Okay, bye. <laughs> We're going to say 10, nine. 9. Oh, I messed, messed up. Wait, let's try it again. 10, nine. 9, 8, nine. 7, nine. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! Oh. Oh. Let's come back to Earth. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. Great. All right. So, our next book is called... The, the Princess, Princess and the Pony. Pony by Kate Beaton. All right. In a kingdom of warriors, the smallest warrior was Princess Pinecone. She was very excited for her birthday. Most warriors got fantastic birthday presents. Shields, amulets, helmets with horns on them. Things to win battles with. Things to make them feel like champions. Princess Pinecone got a lot of cozy sweaters. Warriors do not need cozy sweaters. This year. This year would be different. Pinecone made sure to let everyone know exactly what she wanted. A big horse. A fast horse. A strong horse. A real warrior's horse. And... Well, they tried their best, but they didn't get it quite right. <laughs> That's a tiny pony. I can't ride that, said Princess Pinecone. It's too small. It's too round. And I think its eyes are going in different directions. Well, it was true, but still. But you can't say no to a birthday present, so she took the little pony to her room where it ate things it shouldn't and tooted too much. <laughs> now, as it happens, a great battle was coming up. A battle and battling is warrior's favorite thing to do. The princess tried to teach the pony how to be a real warrior's horse. Look, she's saying, this is how you do it. She's showing him how a real warrior's horse would do it. But the pony was hopeless. <laughs> You'll never be champion, Pinecone sighed. The day of the great battle arrived. All the other warriors seemed very big and very tough. Just do your best, she said to the pony. The starting horn sounded and what a battle it was. There were dodgeballs and spitballs and hairballs and square balls. Those were new. People were getting knocked over left and right and Pinecone stood at the edge looking for her chance to dive in. Look at this crazy battle. That's crazy. That's crazy. Just then, Otto the Awful, the meanest warrior of all, charged right for her. The crowd held its breath. Pinecone fumbled with her spitballs. But Otto stopped in his tracks. His eyes grew very wide. Oh, he said. What a cute little pony! Who would want to hurt a roly-poly pony like this one? Aww. Warrior after warrior paused to admire the pony. What a cutie pie! Said Sally Smash. He's so round! Said Carlos the Cruel. Oh, he looks like me! Said Huge Harold. Can you see? Pinecone was flabbergasted, flamoxed, floored. This is not how a battle usually goes. You're right, said Otto, but we warriors don't often get to show our cuddly sides. Princess Pinecone thought about it. Well, she said, I can help you with that. Soon all the warriors had their own cozy sweaters. Look at all those cool cozy sweaters. <laughs> they were looking pretty cuddly for a bunch of brutes. Everyone voted Pinecone and the Pony the most valuable warriors of the day. Pinecone threw her arms around the pony. You're the best horse a warrior could ask for, she cheered. Nothing can stop a team like us. The little 
Little Pony was so excited it lifted its tail and tooted. <laughs> well, we can work on that. The end. All right, friends, let's do one more song. Let's do Bananas Unite. Bananas. Ready? We say Bananas Unite. Peel, peel. Bananas. bananas. Peel, peel, bananas. Peel, bananas. Peel, peel, bananas. Chop, bananas. Chop, chop, bananas. Chop, bananas. Chop, chop, bananas. Mash, bananas. Mash, mash, bananas. Mash, bananas. Mash, mash, bananas. Eat, bananas. Eat, eat, bananas. Eat, bananas. Eat, eat, bananas. Go, bananas. Go, go. Bananas unite! All right, we're gonna do one more rhyme before we go, all right? Mm -hmm. And this is called the Spunky Little Monkey. It's to the tune of Itsy Bitsy Spider. So should we sing Itsy Bitsy Spider first? And then we'll do the Spunky Monkey? Yes. All right, so we go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider going up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. All right, so now this is how the spunky little monkey goes. We go, the spunky little monkey climbed up the coconut tree. Down came a coconut and bumped him on the knee. Along came Mother Monkey to kiss away the pain. And the spunky little monkey climbed up the tree again. You ready? Want to do it one more time? Yeah. We say, the spunky little monkey climbed up the coconut tree. Down came a coconut and bumped him on the knee. Along came Mother Monkey to kiss away the pain. And the spunky little monkey climbed up the tree again. I think I'm a spunky little monkey. I know you're a spunky little monkey. <laughs> All right, friends. We hope you enjoyed our special guest at story time today. <laughs> You'll and, see more of me. All right. And have a wonderful rest of your day. And until we see each other again, we say goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say...